Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today we are not doing a cleaning video. We are going to do a Halloween DIY. So I decided this year, since we are going to be out trick-or-treating, I still wanted to set up something cute. Um, I've never actually decorated for Halloween before. So this is the first year we're doing outside decorations. I decided that I wanted to do um, a pumpkin patch and have little pumpkin treat bags so that way when the kids come to our house even though we're not home they have a little cute bag that they can still pick up so to do this we just used some orange tissue paper that i got at the dollar store some green and i think we ended up using some purple pipe cleaners some green painters tape and then of course some googly eyes and some glue So nearing the end of this project, I did get quite irritated by how long this was taking. Uh, so the last couple here, I just ended up pre-cutting up and sorting out the candy for the last few, just to kind of narrow down how many I had left to do because this honestly took us so long. I'm going to show you a little clip of the final pumpkins, but you will see the rest of them in the reveal at the end of the video. So make sure you stick around to see what the pumpkin patch looks like at the end. Next thing we needed for our pumpkin patch was a scarecrow. Now the first plan we had here was to use this bag of cans and it was not working for us whatsoever. So we actually ended up kicking the cans and using some stuffing and um, a blanket that we had been using for outside in the summer. The stuffing that we are using, I don't know if you can see the pillow in the back there, but I ended up washing this pillow and it came apart. So it was actually kind of perfect timing because we ended up just taking the insides and using it for the scarecrow. So the head of the scarecrow I got at Dollarama, I think I paid $4 for it. Um, and then we just used one of my fiance's coats and an old pair of pants that he was getting rid of, as well as a very old pair of his shoes. I'm not sure why he still has them, but it worked out for the scarecrow. <laughs> So next thing for the pumpkin patch is I wanted to make a little fence to kind of go around the basket. Um, these boards we had gotten from our new bed that we got. Um, they did not hold up very well. We had them under the bed for about five minutes and then decided just not to use them. 
So I had about three boxes of these in the basement. So I figured this would be the perfect thing for this project. What I did was I made three um, rows of fencing and then this is going to be the sign. I did get this from my mom. She is quite the crafter. I believe she got it at the dollar store but I can't be certain on that. Um, I am a big fan of just using what we have around the house or anything we can pick up for free or for cheap. I'm not a huge fan of spending a bunch of money on holiday decor. So here is the almost finished fence. I did pick up some of this fake spider web from the dollar store and I figured that would just add kind of a spookier touch to it. It looked pretty unfinished um, and with the white rope tying it all together uh, didn't look the greatest. So I thought this was a good finishing touch for the fence. Now, like I mentioned, I'm not a huge fan of spending a bunch of money on holiday decor, although I do love decorating for it. Um, so these little baskets we ended up getting from the thrift store. My daughter really wanted them. She played with them, I think maybe one day, if that, and then she hasn't touched them again since. So I thought I would just string them together and use them outside. All right, so before we get to the pumpkin patch reveal, um, I wanted to share with you guys my DIY pumpkin costume. My daughter is very excited for both of us to be pumpkins. And again, like I said, I don't wanna spend a whole bunch of money on these kind of holidays. So what I did was I got an orange hoodie um, and I used just an old black shirt, cut it up for the eyes and the mouth. And then I ended up just duct taping them on. That way, once uh, Halloween's over, I can just take them off and then the sweater is still good to use. So this is just the sweater alone. I decided that it would be fun to add um, a little bit more to the costume. Didn't wanna just be a boring sweater pumpkin. Now I am no makeup artist or model as you can see. Um, so don't judge me too hard on the makeup. If you are a makeup guru, maybe just don't look too closely at it. So thank you guys for watching this video. Hopefully it gave you guys some inspiration to put up some decorations before Halloween comes. There are some pretty simple, easy ones that you can do. And I think it just kind of adds to the fun of Halloween. Comment down below what your favorite part of the video was and if you tried any of the DIYs. Make sure you guys hit the like button down below, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys next week. Happy Halloween. Baby, you say cheese. Cheese, pumpkin. Even if my pumpkin had that. Mm-hmm, you're so beautiful.